everybody and welcome to TWS Superstars and today on Superstars we have another hardcore map for the TWF Hardcore Championship and also we have, we forgot to bring in the belt the TWF Hardcore Champion Atolicus the King of Thieves and uh, X-Pac so here we go Currently in the ring, he is his challenger, Xbox, and he is the TWF Hardcore Champion, the King of Thieves, Autolycus. Yes, he's won the belt multiple, multiple times. Do you mean, wait a minute, got started all. And that dagger he uses, no, I can get far out of hand. can be used as a weapon as well. It's going to be a problem. Oh! So I must go for his weapon, so one that won't stay in the hand. There we go. Oh! An next part goes down right now. He's setting up the table. And in these hardcore championship matches, anything can go. And anything can seem to happen. Oh, X Pac! Oh, just dropped him on the on the table. That did not break. And X Pac thinking he can. Oh, got poor using knees. Let's see. Yeah, that that it can fit in his hand too. He uses as a grappling hook, I guess you call it, on Atolicus here. Oh, this thing. The problem is, then we need one hand you have a hole, and the other hand works play, and you mess with it, it falls off. Oh! It would be nice if you actually have both weapons in your hand and nail someone with a, one falling out. X Pop right now trying to come back down. Talk has got them all. And the dagger basically almost disappeared. Metallicus right now coming back, trying to keep the TWF Hardcore Championship from losing it to X-Pox. Oh, and I'll just stand that the Director of Wrestling Operations, Diva Tux, will be here to give evaluation on Kang as the direct, as the uh, Executive Administrator. This ring isn't the best ring, folks. Wait a minute. Xbox, oh, did the X Factor to him. And Xbox will do anything to try to become the TWF Hardcore Champion. A belt that, the belt that can trace the lineage back to mankind. The, the first person who won the, the Hardcore Championship always mentioned that. I mean, oh, oh. be it. One, two, three. Beanie, here is your winner and still the TWF Hardcore Champion, A. Tolicus, the King of Thieves. So he still at the moment retains his TWF Hardcore Championship. But who will eventually come along and take it from him? We don't know. We know X Pac can't be happy. Him being a former being a former light heavyweight champion in his own right, maybe also a former Allegheny County champion as well, can upset that he hasn't won the other belt here. Hi folks, it's me Diva Talks here. The, the director of wrestling operations. I've not been around lately, but apparently someone reported to me, I think it was, I don't want to keep the person in all of this, who it might be. Well, Diva Talks, uh, Madam Director of Wrestling Operations, it's good to see you. Kang, it's good to see you too. 
but there's been complaints that you, or at least somebody dressed like you, has been going in costume as you, mostly interfering in matches that usually involve Alaska. Would you know anything about that? Oh, um, no, Diva Talks. Uh, I haven't been, I haven't worn my mask in some time. I still can't find a perpetrator who's been going around dressing like me. Well, first off, to be honest with you, I don't think that there's many people out there that have the same clothes size and shoe size as you. So if it is, let's go on the assumption that there was somebody going around dressing like you. They would have to have known where you were at and what was going on to do their sneak attacks. Plus, it was, well, you know, Diva talks you right, but me and the Max Fane showed up at the same time. Well, this is how we're going to try to figure this out, Diva Talk says. You see, you, Corporate King, and Demon King can't possibly be the same place at the same time. I don't know how you managed to pull it off, but if you facing Velasco, that would be, could prove once and for all that you and him are one and the same, or dispute it, or debunk it, when Demon King show at the same time you do. Um, yeah, that might work it. Plus, Belaska has been paranoid lately. She did attack me, she's been mentally disturbed, but then again you got to remember she's a goddess of chaos. She's a delusional Amazon who took Ambrosia one day because she couldn't start the Amaz Amazonia back the way she was. Remember, she did try to kill the general manager, Zena, and assistant manager, Gabrielle, a long time ago. That's true, King. She might be under, but mentally disturbed. But you might be mentally disturbed as well. But, let's hope, for your luck, that when you fight Alaska, I sure hope that it's you showing up this way and it ain't the demon one showing up and attacking her. But I'm here to say that regardless, I can't find any evidence of a fall play. So let's hope, Kane, that you ain't setting anybody up with Beyonce about that. Well, Alaska is delusional. She thinks she hallucinates someone dressing like me calling himself Demon Kang when I haven't been in my demon form in a while. Maybe that's true, Kang. Okay? Maybe it's true. I don't know. But if I book a mask between you and Alaska, chances are only one Kang is going to show up to face her. It's not going to be two Kings. I mean, I can't expect one Kang to show up and another one to show up, right? Right about that. But that's all I'm going to tell you. These incidents between you and Alaska, if you're playing mind games of Alaska, I really don't mind. But don't play mind games with anybody else. Yeah, I'll tell you the truth. I don't know. There are many people who like to masturbate as me. You know Halloween's coming up. They've been masturbating as you since September. So hopefully this the Demon King don't show up anymore in corporate King stage. Because I have a match with Alaska, and if you somehow disappear and Corporate King shows up, then we know you're going back and forth changing in the costumes. But if you're in a match and Demon King shows up on his own, then we'll know it's somebody trying to discredit you. Right. I totally understand with that, Diva Talks. And I will deal with Alaska when it comes to that. You have my word that the person who's dressing up like me will stop doing their, their immature pranks. I don't think that Velasco likes that because she probably thought that she had came down to rights. But to assure you, I understand we have something here. Well, before we end this video, apparently some people have said, How did I manage to beat X-Pac? Maybe because I am the King of Thieves and I did not steal the TWF Hardcore Championship. But now you seem to be complaining about something. You, Xbox says, I want my, I want a return match. You cheated. Me cheat? I will admit that I steal. But I don't cheat people or anything. It's not my fault you lost the Hardcore Championship. 
I just got a job violation by Diva Talks, the director of wrestling operations. And it's hard if it's an Xbox, and you got a problem, maybe I come up with a solution. How about a talk is gives X-Pac a return match for the TWF Hardcore Championship. And if X-Pac loses it, then he just accepts that he lost and moves on. I agree with that, Diva Talk said. I really do agree with that. Oh, sorry. And I do agree with that. And an X-Pac this will be your only other opportunity to become the TWF Hardcore Champion. So if I was you, I hope to God that I win, because if you don't win, this will be the last time you ever are a TWF Hardcore Champion. Alright. Well, we hope you all enjoyed this episode of, of Superstars, and we'll see you tomorrow for Explosion.